here's the scenario. There's a bad guy over there someplace. I don't know for sure, but I'm relatively safe right now because of cover from small arms fire. I have to get around this corner at some point, and to do that, I'm going to have to commit. Now, the second I stick my head out, I'm exposed. I'm a target. There was basically only two ways to deal with this. I either fully commit and go for it and take the chance of being shot, or I come back and I cut the corner, see if I can see him, and then, again, still, I have to expose myself at some level to take the shot. Now, how do you solve this problem? I've heard of a guy who claims to have the answer, but I have to go halfway around the world to find it. The capital of Israel, Tel Aviv, has suffered from terrorist attacks for years. It's also the home of an Israeli police commander who's been in the front line in the fight against terror. Amos Golan is a former commander of the Israeli Defense Force with over 30 years of experience in anti-terror and special undercover units. Essentially, what you... Around five years ago, he began developing a handgun which he hoped would revolutionize close-range man-to-man combat forever. All right. Uh, this is the, the baby. Wow, look at that. That's great. Check that out. It's called corner shot because that's exactly what it does. The idea is how to be able to shoot around the corner that you are protected, totally protected, including your hand, and to observe and see the enemy and the ability to shoot to the enemy. And you save the life of your soldier because you don't have to put them in a situation that they have to put their head first. Sounds unbelievable, but I'm going to see how it works for myself and put it to the test by playing out a hostage situation. This is the world's first gun that can shoot around corners. But is it everything that it's cracked up to be? And how does it handle? Corner Shots designer Amos Golan has made his weapon very easy for soldiers like me to use. This is the device itself that's turning. In one click, it's coming back to the right. position. We have here, here the screen. So the CCD camera? Yes, the that's CCD great. camera right. in, in the front. And look at, look at me. The viewfinder uses powerful video technology to sight the target. You see, it's very easy. That's great. And if you move over to the left, okay. boom. And now you are shooting around the corner. That's you are totally protected. And if I decide to jump to the right, make one click, boom. And I'm right back on target. Yes. Two cameras give different views and keep the soldier safe. One is fish eye, and the other one is for a medium range. So when I put the corner shot inside the room with the fish eyes, I see everything yeah, that moves. Wide, wide, wide. Yeah. It's, a, it, it's a dream of every soldier. For the first time ever, the gun-mounted camera gives the soldier the luxury of time. Normally, when you are in the street and you put your head out and you are under fire and something is moved, you shoot because right. you don't know what is going on. Right. Here, you have time. If you have a big wall, you can go and put it like this and slowly search and see what is going on. And you see something, you don't sure what is it. Right. You, can, you have few seconds to look again or two minutes. No right. problem. Exactly. So, and then you can take the decision. In a tactical situation, the camera can also transmit video back to the soldier's command center, as well as to his team. Corner shot becomes a powerful surveillance tool as well as a weapon. Naturally enough, I just couldn't wait to have a go myself. What we got here is basically a hostage situation. These will represent walls. Now the challenge here is I can use these for cover, but I can't see through them. Now inside the room, there are gonna be four paper targets. Two will represent hostages, two will represent terrorists. My job is kill the terrorist without them killing me. Here's the opportunity, let's see what I get done. I've got the chance to see through the camera exactly what's going on. And as I do this, I can already see that there's a guy right now with a video camera, and there's another guy with what looks like an Uzi. So now I've got him in position. I can actually pull off this shot. So I come over just a little bit out. Now I'm lined up. I got my shot. Now what I'm going to do, pop, and I'm coming right back into the room. Come over here. I got my shot. And then boom. 
and boom, ready to go. Pretty effective. Fighting terrorists in close combat convinced Amos of the need for a new kind of weapon. The worst feeling that you as a commander have when you are losing one of your companions, this is the, the worst feeling because you have to go to the family. It's, it, it's your friend, right. it's your blood. It's somebody that was with you all the time. And this brought me to the idea that I have to do something. The result was corner shot, and although it certainly makes life a lot safer for the guy using it, the protection it offers also extends to the other guys on the team. It's not designed for everyone. It's like a light machine gun. It's like a special a shotgun that you have in the unit. Uh, I believe that in a team of 12 or 10, you need something like one or two. The standard version of corner shot can already accommodate a wide range of different handguns. But the design is versatile enough to fit an assault rifle. One of the cool things about corner shot is its adaptability. Here we have a modified M16. So you have the soldier in the field. He has the same actual ammo that he always uses. He basically has the same weapon, same kind of range. But he's faced with a situation he can't see over the ridge. He doesn't want to expose himself. So the beautiful thing about corner shot, you set this thing up, boom, lock it back, flip out the monitor, check it out. Boom, never being exposed. Nice and safe, looks good. Boom, click it back into place. Boom, it's ready to go. The M16 is a formidable weapon, but Amos isn't a guy who's afraid to think big. Say you're taking heavy fire and you want to suppress it. Corner Shot has a solution. 40 millimeter grenade launcher. The launcher can easily be attached to the corner shot frame, giving it the power to take out a vehicle or even a whole building, again, without risking exposure to enemy fire. I'm impressed, I'm impressed. At first, I, I, was, uh, I wasn't sure, you know? It's not the answer for everything, yeah. but it definitely has its place. And if you're smart about the way you use this, it'll be very, very effective. It's already effective in the battlefield. Exactly. Corner Shot's unique technology allows the soldier to be both stealthy and lethal.